Welcome to Farzy's Survival World. I made this series with one goal in mind, to make the best survival world in Minecraft history. So if you like epic builds, amazing structures, and a few comical fails now and again, you do not want to miss this. And what is up guys, it is Farzy here and today we are back playing in my survival world. And today the plan is going to be very simple, just get some building done, just talk about life, talk about Minecraft, and uh, oh yeah, I'm exploding things. So funny story, thanks to you guys in the comments, you told me I accidentally deleted some really important builds in my world, so that whole regeneration thing we did last time, we kinda messed it up. So I decided today, we're gonna redo that, we're gonna try and uh, try a take two on that and just make it a little bit better and not, you know, delete all my precious builds, so this world is now garbage to me, hence the explosions. Real quick, most of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you like my content, please subscribe, it's free and it helps me out a lot. Okay, back to the video. But yeah, off camera, I actually went and did this myself. So you'll see, I have Farzy Craft Old, which is the world I was blowing up, then Farzy Craft, which is the one that is all purdy and reset. So you're gonna see right now what I actually deleted by accident. And if I go up here, check what the heck lag, lag and a half. Okay, go up here and you'll see this is my safari build. This is like, it's like a like a wild, like, like African, like plain kind of a build, if that makes sense. And I got some villagers up here with like some nice acacia wood. I got a bunch of wild animals. Like I got some lions right there in yellow. I got some tigers in orange. Are the colors mixed up there? I don't know. But the point is, I was so devastated to hear that I lost this place that I had to go back and redo it. Cause like, look at this place. It's amazing. Like, in fact, let's take the ride. Cue the adventure music as we hop on and let's go. The safari going a nice steady pace. A pig in the wild, an ocean, a tree. A flower, a chicken in the wild, in the way of the rail cart for some reason. A giant skeleton of some monster beast. Oh, it's a pig. The pig made the skeleton. He ate the mob. Trees everywhere. Skeleton is back. I, I don't know what to say. This is very boring. But ocean, sugar cane, a rabbit, a, a horse. Words. No, but all jokes aside, this place is near and dear to my heart. I love it. And also check this out. We have one of these OG villages. So if you guys are like young, you might not understand this, but if you're an old Minecraft player like me, these villages, like this is like the old model. Like before they updated villages, they were just like this, just like empty houses with no workstations, no beds, just it was terrible. Whoa, we got some chunk errors right there. Well, I guess I wasn't perfect with the whole regeneration, but uh, regardless, I think we salvaged the important things and... Whoa, what is going on here? I swear there was a desert here. Oh, okay, so when I reset the generation, it made the desert now a new biome over here. Okay, whatever, I don't care. But yeah, guys, that's today. I just wanted to start off the day with just, you know, fixing my mistakes. And now it is time to go back home and actually, you know, do some stuff. And as you'll see back at home, nothing else has changed. It's all just like normal. But actually, since I did reset the regeneration, I lost the progress of last episode. So that tree farm we made is actually no longer here. So why don't we start the day just remaking that really fast? Imagine if I came back and I exploded the wrong world. <laughs> Hello, little puppy. Did you miss me? You know what I actually wonder? I wonder if I should just make this tree farm, like, up over there in the woods. Just because last time we made this, it was kind of ugly. Because, you know, when you grow the trees, there's just, like, a giant hunk of wood in the middle. So, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go do it. Let's go do the tree farm up here. You see, in this kingdom, I really try and just keep everything, like, as pretty as possible. And some things, no matter how practical they are, how helpful they are, they're just really ugly. And I think this is one of them. So, yeah, we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna make a giant area right here, I guess. I don't know. Okay, it's kind of ugly here against all the stone, but so be it, whatever. Now, let's place down our saplings. Let's test this bad boy. Ooh, just enough saplings. Okay, now let's take out our giant bone blocks and make a ton of bone meal and let's get to What's this called growing? Yeah growing. All right, go ahead grow. What's going on? It's not growing. Uh Oh, oh, we got one. Okay, it started. I don't know why sometimes it's really like delayed like that, but so be it Uh, so be it Um, So be it Okay and boom, that is Mega Tree, the best tree ever made. But all seriousness, this thing is 
a lot to deal with. So this barrel here will be all of my like bone meal, I guess. Then right here can be like my additional saplings, which I don't have many. Then here can be like the wood loot. So, okay, we're all set. And pardon me, just give me a few minutes to gather up some wood because I lost a lot of wood doing that whole regeneration thing. This is such a Minecraft aesthetic right here. Just mining a bunch of wood, sunset in the background. You see a kingdom over there. This is just like an amazing visual right now. But anyways, we are all set mining our wood. So now I want to actually have some fun with said wood and make a brand new building. Now, something I've noticed is that I have so many buildings in this kingdom that sometimes I kind of don't want to make more because, like, I've kind of been there, done that. I've already, I've built the rustic building. I've built every kind of like shop you could make in a kingdom or at least most of them but i don't know i gotta keep going i gotta keep pushing through because this kingdom still has a lot more work to go there's a lot more like open space so i gotta suck it up and get some building done so let's do that right now all right so i guess somewhere like right over here right by like the rabbit area maybe just like right even here and i'll just make a little shop here so i'm gonna make I don't even know what I'm gonna make. Like, it'll be some kind of shop for sure, but a lot of these builds, I just kind of like wing it. Like, I think, okay, I wanna do a building, and then I just start building whenever it looks like, then I just kind of like mold it to that, if that makes sense to you guys. I also could start like a new neighborhood, like a new like set of houses and not a shop, but I don't know. I feel like a shop is easier because there's so many possible shop ideas. You can like make any kind of shop for any kind of block in the game, but for houses, once you make like a certain like number of houses, there's not many other options left. Parkour, parkour, oh, parkour. Okay, so I've decided I'm actually gonna make a clothing shop. So I'm gonna take like some leather tunics and stuff like that and dye it and then put it on display to be like a, like a clothing store, an accessory store. Now this might be a terrible idea, it might come out awful, but I think in my head I can kind of imagine it being good. So we're gonna roll with it. Let's do a clothing store today. Now I've been asked before how I think of my ideas for like building and whatnot. And a lot of these kind of like today, I literally just like think of something totally random. Like first thing pops in my mind, I start building. Like there was no planning for this. I was just like, I decided that in like 30 seconds what I'm gonna do. So if you guys wanna have more building ideas, like just think of things that like you see in your own life, like where you live. And just like think of what you could possibly build in Minecraft and what could like, fit into like you know your area in my case the kingdom so just some food for thought on that who are you looking at hello mr sheeps all of you i need some wool for my build thank you very much dude this thing is crazy if you guys are new here this sheep farm is like the most overpowered wool farm ever like i get just chests and chests full of wool on demand fully automatic probably a major source of my lag but it's still very helpful Oh, you know what? These honey containers are kind of overflowing. Let me grab some of this, some of this honeycomb. Hello, Mr. Honeycomb. Are the bees inside here? I think they are. I haven't seen a lot of bees recently. I feel like they, they just hide inside these boxes, but I like, I like when they fly around the place. It's very pretty just to see them like in the air, just buzzing along, just doing their daily chores. It's, it's a nice little thing to see. All right, little updates coming out. Okay, it's a very like tall building. So I'll probably make like multiple floors for this too, but so far so good. So I guess now we'll make the upstairs. So we'll just kind of make a little staircase up the side like this. And a little while later, this building is all done. Now you're gonna see it's totally empty now. There's no details, no designs inside, but that is where we come in. We're gonna go get a bunch of item frames and armor stands and just make a little comfy, cozy clothing shop. So now here comes the fun part. We're gonna get a bunch of leather clothes and dye them all different colors and make cool like designs and cool like like different, I don't know, like, what do you call it? When you like mix and match like your shirt with your pants and your hat, I don't know, you know what I mean? Making everything look like good together. So leather, do I have any leather? I don't have a lot of leather. I have a cow farm though, so maybe that'll be better. All right, fingers crossed. Oh, I have a little bit, but I wonder if I have just any like loot down here in like the skeleton farm, like any just like little leather tunics hanging around right here, okay, armor. No, okay, not here. What about down here? 
Let's see, where would they be? Uh, okay, yeah, we got some. Okay, that's fine. We can take these and we can, like, um, unenchant them. And, yeah, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Let's also go check the zombie farm as well. And let's see. Oh, we got a lot. Okay, yeah, we got a lot down here. That is a huge collection. And I have some over here, too, I think, right? Uh, oh, yeah, I do. Ooh, baby. Okay, I'll throw all these in the shulker box, and then I'm gonna go get a bunch of armor stands, too. Now, how do you make armor stands? I have no idea. I think you need smooth stone, which you get by smelting normal stone, right? I think that's correct. And... Yes, okay, so I'll let this all smelt up, then we'll get to work. All right, let's give it a test. We got some smooth stone slabs, some sticks, and oh yeah, okay, that is, that's honestly probably enough. Like 10 to 15 is probably fine. Now, you know what? I'm good with that. That is totally okay with me because I don't want to have like a ton of armor stands then it might like lag, so I'm cool with that. So now the next step is unenchanting all the armor and then dyeing it our preferred colors. So let's hop in here, let's pull the armor out and let's just get to unenchanting. So you just go like this. What if I combine them? Can I do like... Oh, it just makes one. No, don't do that. Don't do that. And the best part, I'm getting free XP. Now the dyes. So I'm just going to take like a few of every kind of color and we'll just like make it up on the fly. All right. So first off, let's find placements for the armor stand. So I think I'm going to have them like standing on like, oh, can I put them on a slab? Actually, I think that might actually work because it's an entity and it'll like fall. So let's try this. So I do a little slab and I do a little this and I do a little like this, this and oh it sits that's perfect that is wonderful so we'll have some of these armor stands just sitting on slabs Does this look ugly is that weird nah it's okay it's fine so we'll have all the apparel here the register will be right over here at the front door then upstairs will be like more stuff so like more weird clothing selections up here so now time for our first outfit. So I'm going to go with the, I don't know. <laughs> we'll go with the blue tunic. We'll go with the purple hat. We'll go with the, oh, what the, mi mix of things. I don't want that. The yellow pants and the boots can be white because we are stylish. And let's throw this on this guy right here and see how it looks. Interesting, interesting, a little bit odd, but it works. And the downstairs stuff is done. Simple, but a nice little showcase of what we have at the store. Now let's take this stuff upstairs and continue. One thing is for certain, these are the weirdest colors ever for clothes. All right, our selection is all set. Now it's time to make the counter. So I'm just gonna take out some slabs and then just like, maybe I'll even use the crafting bench. I'll just kinda, you know, like go around like this and then just like that. And I'll, oops, that's a little tight. Maybe I'll go a little bit further back, like... Okay, that's better. It's a little bit tight here in the corner, but actually, no, you know, I'll just do one closer. So, boom, like, okay, that's much better. Now, take out a trap door to have a little, like, a, like a flap to, you know, how, like, clerks can, like, get in and out. So, I'll go right here, and I'll do little flappy right there and boom that is a great little counter and you know what i'll even put a bed in here in case the little cashier gets a little sleepy so boom set there we go and yeah guys that is it for our clothing shop actually there's one more thing i forgot to do and that is give a name to this thing put a sign down and give it a name and it's called flashy fashion i know kind of a weird name but i thought it was kind of Catchy, flashy, fa I was gonna say flashy, fashy at first, but then I was like, nah, I can't say fashy. Flashy fashion, it, it's kind of a tongue twister too, but anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. I know today was kind of like a shorter episode, not too much to do, but unfortunately, I gotta get a flu shot today and I hate needles, so keep me in your prayers. I'll be fine, but I just don't like needles. Well, by the time the video gets posted, I'm sure the shot would be well over, so praying wouldn't actually help me, but you know what, what I, I'm having a rough day. All right, let's go get the comment of the day. And today in the comment rainbow, we have a new comment by someone who is literally brand new to this whole world in this channel. And that commenter's name is 
ACASFX, and ACAS says, nice video, I just discovered your channel, keep up the great work, smiley face. So thank you ACAS, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, I hope you stay a while, it's a fun place. But guys, thank you so much for watching, all of you, I really appreciate it. So, on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.